Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are demoing some deck options for this weekend's historic qualifier, both the play-in, which is best of three, and the actual event itself. Uh, this list came from Omnithopter. They won a historic tournament over the weekend. It is a red-black splash-white sacrifice deck. Um, there is basically no energy here, uh, so that's a big thing, um, but technically there's energy with the Nightmare, but we don't have the usual energy package that's included here. Um, so the core of the deck is using a lot of sacrifice effects. The only change I made was I went down from four deadly disputes to four village rights in place. You have things like claim the firstborn, very good against Lurus mirrors, whole bunch of removal, but it's very much a deck built around goblin bombardment. We are looking to bombard our opponent over and over again. The Marinette Master deals extra damage. Uh, you get value with like Goblin Trap Finder that replaces itself. The Unlucky Witness replaces itself. Shambling Gas can be used as removal. Uh, so a whole bunch of value there. And then we're also incidentally in a Johnny deck. It's part of the reason why we're playing white. Johnny's very, 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 very strong. Uh, comes into play, a lot of red permanents to then uh, just fireball your opponent for a bunch of damage mixed into there. We also have Rite of Oblivion, just a flexible catch-all removal spell. Beyond that, sideboard. Some Thought Seizes for Hand Hate. Juggernaut Peddlers for Thoughtseize style effects some more. That happens to be a creature. Incidental Removal, Fatal Push. You got some Surgicals, Claims, Proxa for the Grindier matchups. Uh, we have Molten Collapse as Removal, Unlicensed Hearse, and then Brotherhood's End, uh, which some of the decks bring in Portable Hole. I was just playing a deck that had Portable Hole and got white, like, just absolutely decimated from opponent Brotherhood's ending me. Molten Collapse also the less played version of the, the modes. Destroy target, non-creature, non-line permanent. Uh, static prison gets hit as well. Uh, so kind of gross in that regard. But we will get some games going and see what the deck. I'm like two best of three match wins away from Diamond, but we're trying out some decks. We're just going to run it. We, uh, we did another energy version of the deck, uh, a different type of de energy deck. So still Boros, but with Ty in here to draw you cards. So a little bit different that we highlighted. So if you're interested in seeing that, it'll be up on YouTube as well. Um, but really, I just want to see how these feel. I'm very comfortable with the Boros Energy deck. It's my favorite deck that I've been playing. Uh, incidentally, is quite represented in the format as well. So I want to see uh, how this plays out. Win or lose, just feel the matches out play first so no companion i think we keep so no companion can be indicative of a couple things here it could be some sort of control deck it could be mono green devotion all things to kind of consider there so we'll lead on trap finder here this does kind of telegraph to our opponent we are a sacrifice deck interesting you don't see the basic island start that often. So we'll lead on Marionette here. They could stifle us here. Spell Snare. Okay. Our mana base is incredibly painful here. Blue-white control. Do you have the second spell snare? You don't. So we can see what they play out here. It could be Divine Purge. I would think the Meticulous Archive with spell snare would indicate that. I'm holding up the mana this turn because it gives me access to village rights. Probably should have played the tower. It just saved me one point of damage to my mana base. If they do purge, I'm going to target my uh, servo here. Just given that we can recast these, get some value out of it. Really looking to nickel and dime our. Had they not had that spell snare there, we would have had two marionettes, which would have been very powerful. Where are you, Portugas? Dale. A little bit flooded right now, but we have a draw two at our availability. Um, 
If I didn't do the draw there... Just because I want them to react to something and then force the hand. There's no sense of us playing into a counter spell there. We can just kind of keep our cards. Um, probably just doing this. Let them play out their turn. We can always lure us back something afterwards too. We can also give this Lurus haste, which is nice. Um, and little shitters are just going to get the job done eventually. I could like Wandering Emperor, but I have ways to disrupt it. Usually when you see the double Surveil Line charm. Farewell would be a little annoying. They did show Spell Snare, notably, which can counter. I think we cycle this land. I can take out my tower. I don't really care. They should have let me draw first. Oh, so we play no basics. Worth noting. Definitely worth noting. The no basic Andy. That tempos us out quite a bit. Hmm. Continue just poking in here. Like this game is just about patience. They need to make the first move. We have a presence on the board. Do this. We get the death trigger, even if they counter this. And I get the uh, trap finder ability. What's cool is like you get these things like unlucky witness, which would die. That's fine. All good with me. You're at five. You gotta do something, my friend. Since we'll get the effect of the unlucky witness, this also gets haste. So they want to counter an unlucky witness, be my guest. At this point, we're going to solo them with a Marionette Master. And 
I'm waiting on the land, just depending on what they do. But notably, they can't target tokens. They may opt to hit my unlucky witness. I can do this. It's the same, so we'll let the damage go through here. I think we just pass here. I'm doing this to play around No More Lice, and they already know that we have the village rights. So we'll always get this effect. This person's playing so slow. Ah, double line there is a little annoying. At least one of them is silent clearing. Fine. So we do lose those, which is a little annoying. But there's two fewer lions now. Unlucky witness here. Claim it. Combat here. We're just trying to nickel and dime them. Every turn that they don't spend their mana has got utility for us. Um, I'm gonna get the cards from this anyways. Maybe we just let it happen. Bombardment here. So now they need to either kill the Shambling Ghast, counter my Bombardment. I could force the No More Lies, but I think we just wait till next turn. Creeps have we seen two. Just patience. They just have to use a four mana removal spell on my one drop, which is where you want to be.
So we'll lead on bombardment. And then I can lure us and Yeah, we got him there, because it seems like they're not on purge in the main. So thought seizes, surgicals, peddlers, Roxa, Wrath the Sky. I don't know what their like package is per se. In their top end. Can get rid of claim. Get rid of Fatal Push. Get rid of Rite of Oblivion. So Bombardment's very good, but I don't want to draw multiples. I think that would be a cut. They've shown Snapcaster. They do have Wrath the Sky. This does get hit by. Maybe a Dispute. Surgical. They don't have one key card in the matchup. Like I could get rid of a sweeper, but they've already shown at least two types of sweepers. That's important. Like the 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 surgicals for flage, that card is very problematic. Mind you. Claiming of Blage just sounds amazing. Alright, and that's pretty solid. We can get the enough mana, we can set up the Ajani line. Probably gonna prioritize getting Goblin Bombardment down early. Be a little mindful. Not a two drop. They showed spell snares. I'm gonna lead with the gas tier because if they kill it, it's got some value. Like this plays worse into Divine Purge. Force them. Because I want to keep this going, and if I could have Bombardment out, it's just some more redundancy there. Supplies. I'm just going to keep throwing things out. I think it's worth keeping the card draw. Because if we get a counter here... It's nice because then I can a Johnny Jethulian. Yeah. One short cut. Uh... Ooh, I can do this. Back. Get wrecked. Get rickety wrecked. No basic still kind of hurts. But we'll try it out. That was a long one. Alright, let's see if we get our diamond game in. Then we can play some real brews. I don't like playing brews when you're in like the ones. Diamond one, flat one, just get into the edge and then... Alright, Diamond 4 Gamer. See if we can sack our way to the victory.
Tent. Interesting. I think we keep. The reason being, oh, well, this hand is now terrible against control. My thought was if it was a creature deck, I have the claim village rights. Ooh, okay. Okay. Friend, I'm gonna I'm a borrow this for a sec, okay? Promise I'll give it back. Thank you for making my hand not a steaming pile of crap. All right, still need some uh, some action here. Uh, trap finder. This is probably them playing Flage here. This being an ETB, I think this might be our only ETB. A Johnny technically is an ETB, but... So they are going to stifle this most likely. Bit troublesome. Did find a Johnny, which is nice. Now, notably, the Johnny does die. You sacrifice it on your end step. You have Trap Finder. I do have a Johnny. I messed that up. Messed that up. Hmm. In village rights. I want the mana available. It's probably just marionette here. Because the problem is they have the annihilator here. I gotta cheek out this Ajani. Because the problem is with Ajani, I was still short. They wrath the skies here. Hmm. We'll have to pay the one. So let's let them pay the one. This just is really tough to deal with. Untap land to be good. We could have the stifle. This is triggered.
a bit tough. So we'll do this. Not bad, not bad. So we lose the Ajani, but we could get a Johnny back next turn. Um what do we lose to here? Rick Proctor. Cause I have bombardment, which is nice. Probably dead. Gonna get them to try to react here. Been marionette. Ah, uh, see. Man has been a little awkward. I'm assuming they have counter spells. A little awkward of a game. We were just always kind of a step behind. Um. So Crocs is reasonable, Peddlers are reasonable, bring in those, bring in Thoughtseize, bring in Surgical. It's a bit tricky because we want to have an answer to the Strict Proctor, but at the same time, I don't want to overload on Fatal Pushes. Probably get rid of the Deadly Disputes, trim on two Bombardments. Miner's probably fine. Maybe we get rid of the pushes. Just kind of accept if they have. Crox is reasonable. We have the village rights. We have that. Maybe because they are on Proctor, we play one less peddler. Johnny's very strong. Let's do it like that. I probably should have cut right of Oblivion. We kept having the Annihilator was just incidentally enough to keep us off the game. So if we can, like, curve out to hit Strict Proctor. It's fragment now. I'm gonna get rid of the Strict Proctor here. We know this is a land, so they're likely gonna reprieve this turn. I can get them. Okay, so they don't. I'm going to force their hand here. Okay. 
The reason being, if they didn't, then I was going to take like their Lorien Revealed or their Memory Deluge. Just something to mess up their curve. Because they had a lot of spells and maybe not a lot of lands. Hit. Hit Purge here. So they can Flage. It buys them a little bit of life. We have Rite of Oblivion for it afterwards. Seize is nice. Just hit this um, deluge out of them. Ooh, Johnny's nice as well. I have enough to get Flage back. I think it's just Luris to hand. Because then I can add Johnny, Rite of Oblivion, the Luris. Or the Flage. Let's go Peddler here. Get rid of this. Now, notably, I'm going to plus a Johnny here so it doesn't die. Because then I have Luris available. I have a Johnny. Each opponent chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker, from, then sacrifices the rest. Because, like, now this turn, I can zero on a Johnny and hit the Juggernaut Peddler. So we're kind of attacking at a couple different angles. I have Rite of Oblivion to get rid of it. Flage, which is important. Gets me another creature. That's very strong. I'm going to just sacrifice this. I'm here. So Johnny's out of a single shot hit. We've disrupted their hand quite a bit here. Big jugs. here it's just six damage to the face they have to attack with the juggernaut peddler you've stifled me congratulations
Take the damage. Well, that's the worst case scenario. Now my Johnny's dead too. It's a good sequence of cards to have. It's not bad. We can find a sack outlet. We can maybe get them. Access to six mana here. Lion tier, make it seem like we have something. So they have to attack here. We'll block with Unlucky Witness. Gets us some cards. So if I played this, we would have been good. They're in top deck. A sweeper kills them, other than Divine Purge. They, they need Divine Purge. Can you purge? Got him. You're pretty hot there. Uh, we definitely want the Peddlers. I do think we want the Hearse. They're on Deluge as well. Problems with Wrath the Sky. It's such a pain in the ass. Maybe just one Nightmare. Sixty-one? Sixty-one. I don't know what to cut. Is it optimal? Probably not. No fragment there is nice. Fragment now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this flage from you. How's that sound? Because if they go this, I go Croxa. The Lotus Field. Usually somewhat of a free attack to do this. Alright, I got a Croxa. Edler. They could double block here. Tax 
actually works out okay. Go Nightmare here. Or Bombardment. They had the Reprieve up. We have to play with face up info. info. Maybe should have played hearse. Probably should have played hearse. We're probably dead now. They get to copy Lotus Field and have like infinite mana. And we can keep them off some of their bigger effects. It could be good. But Surgical's reasonable. Luge here. This could just be Wrath the Skies. I think it was wrong not playing Hearst last turn. Also, I had Surgical. I probably should have taken out the... Uh... We could sneak this through. One of the cards more. Five cards in the library. See to fairy. That's going to be problematic. How many bombardments did we keep in? Just one more. Hey, that's a card. Try to find a land here. Gives us a couple shots. Okay, so they ought to wire that to hand. Not the end of the world. Because I can just Teferi, like hit their Teferi again next turn. Do the creature plus Rite of Oblivion. They have so much mana. For all probably dead here. Probably dead. And it's just been really awkward. to do this. Problem being we 
we're just going to get ground down now. That outer wire was pretty clutch for them. Had we been able to answer both those threats, would have been really big. But now they're just going to get so much card advantage. I think we got it here. Super awkward. Super awkward. No, why would you tap me off black? Uh, and they have Fragment. Uh, Alright, that matchup feels really bad. Feels pretty bad. Alright, I'm going to wrap this one up. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.